everyone, welcome to another one of my tier lists. Today I'm doing a bit of a different one, where it's going to be Sonic characters versus Exceller, basically where I think they stand since they didn't really use much of every single Sonic character. So let's begin. First up we've got Sonic versus Exceller. Sonic was one the one who got possessed by him. I'm not sure where he'd be on the spectrum, but I think I've put he could probably be Exceller. Because Sonic's been pretty strong. And and um yeah. I think he could probably beat him if he had a fair fight. And Alright, let's begin. First up we got Sonic. Sonic was the first one possessed by Exceller, so he didn't really get much chance to fight back. But however, I think if he had a fight against him, he could probably beat him, since he's basically the hero. And, yeah, he's been pretty strong in a lot of his games and even the anime. And, however, but, and let's not forget about his dark form. If it was his dark form, yeah, Sonic would definitely be able to beat him there. Alright, next up, we got Tails. I think I'd put Tails in... Hmm. I'm not sure, because he mainly seems to be the victim of Seller. He's, not, he's barely been able to even beat him. He's been able to kind of outsmart him a couple times, but that's about it. Next up, we got Knuckles. Knuckles is pretty strong, though I'd probably say he... Hmm, yeah, couldn't beat him because he's a, not really... It's a bit dumb when it comes to this. He, and he can't really manage to protect his friends in the in the duo endings and all that. Next up we got Dr. Eggman. I think I'm gonna put him couldn't beat him because basically without his robots he's kind of useless. Oh, he's still a bit okay, just not totally helpless. Next up we got Metal Sonic. trying to think of where I'd put him. I think I'd put Metal Sonic on... Couldn't beat Exceller, because in round one of Spirits of Hell, I don't know if you watched it, but Metal Sonic basically dies protecting Dr. Robotnik, so... Yeah, he's not really good. Oh, however, if it was Metalix, I put could probably beat Exceller. I mean, Metalix is really, really strong. Metalix is basically... Metal Sonic, but like extremely upgraded. Plus, he can he has a hyper form, which I think would be pretty big, big factor too. And next, we got Tails Doll. Now, I know you guys like Aiden. You probably think he's like just the creepy person that would work with Exceller. However, in his story, he went against him. Tails Doll, I think I could put in. In between, I'm not sure, and could probably beat Exceller because because there have been times when he's been able to protect Cream from his clones. Not forget against Exceller's strongest minion, Tails Doll manages to save Cream, so I think he kind of deserves in a bit of the high spectrums. But in the end, he dies. So yeah, let's continue. Next up, we got Amy. Hmm. I think I'd put Amy and I'm not sure as well because she also seems a bit strong, but I'm not sure. She also ends up dying in this story a lot, so yeah. Cream I'd put in, yeah. Honestly, definitely couldn't beat him because she just seems to always lose, not to mention she's a little kid. I don't think that would be much close to beating a demon. Next, we got Sally. Hmm. If I were to put Sally, I'd put, could probably beat Exceller, because although she also kind of dies in a few. Since she also kind of dies in a few, however, I mean, he even considers Sally a worthy threat enough to show, show her his whole past. So... I 
think that she kind of deserves and could probably beat him. And now, another character I think I would like to see in Spirits of Hell would be Silver. Silver is pretty powerful in the games. I mean, he even has the power to control time a few times, so I'd put and probably could beat him. But who knows, we'll never know until they'd eventually face off. And next, we finally, last but not least, we've got Shadow. Shadow's probably a really popular guy. Pretty powerful guy because, I mean, he's been pretty strong in Sonic Adventure, Adventure 2 and managed to even even stop a few of the really great villains in Sonic Adventure 2, so I put him in could probably be. However, if, we were, if I were to put Super Shadow, I'd put him in could definitely be the seller. Because, I mean, have you seen how powerful he is in Sonic X? He and Super Sonic have done some pretty amazing things in the anime. So, yeah. That, that's my whole tier list. I hope you guys liked it. See ya.